Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson! Today is Wednesday, November 23rd. It is the 327th day of the year. There are 38 days left. Happy National Fibonacci Day! November 23rd is Fibonacci Day an annual holiday that honors one of the most influential mathematicians of the Middle Ages, Leonardo Bonacci. Fibonacci is a contraction of Philo Bonacci, meaning the son of Bonaccio. November 23rd is celebrated as Fibonacci Day because when the date is written in the month-date format, 1123, the digits in the date form a Fibonacci sequence. One, one, two, three. A Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where a number is the sum of the two numbers before it. For example, one plus one is two, one plus two is three, and so on. One of the beauties of the Fibonacci sequence is that the series is evident all over the natural world. Petal arrangements in flowers, the ordering of leaves and plants, the shell of the nautilus, the DNA molecule, and even hurricanes show patterns that correspond to the sequence. Today is also National Cashew Day, National Espresso Day, National Jukebox Day, and Thankful for My Dog Day. Okay, National Dayers, so today we're gonna make Fibonacci flowers. So gather the following supplies. You'll need a bunch of different colors of construction paper, a compass. I needed a ruler because my compass didn't have measurements on it, a pencil, scissors, and glue. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to measure out the circles. Now remember with the Fibonacci sequence, everything gets bigger. So we start with a one inch circle and we do another one inch circle because one plus one and then we would make a two inch circle. And then one plus two is three, and then two plus three is five. So that's how it works. So you make a five inch circle, and you make a three inch circle, and you make a two inch circle, and some one inch circles, and then you assemble all of those together into a really cool looking flower. And then you just have to add a stem and some petals. Not only have you created a cool picture, but it's mathematical as well. Go Fibonacci. National Dayers, isn't math cool? I think it's so cool. And I think this is super cool. And just imagine how big we could make this. Bigger, and bigger, and bigger. I didn't have a big enough piece of paper, so I had to stop at a four inch circle. Crazy, right? All right, National Dayers. Learn about the Fibonacci sequence today. See if you can come up with some different ways in your life that Fibonacci proves to be true because I think it's pretty cool. Have you ever looked inside of a croissant? Pretty neato. All right, National Dayers, keep smiling. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shoutouts today start us off with Mrs. Evans and everyone in her fourth grade class at Briarwood Elementary School in Renton, Washington. Next up is Ms. Lawrence and everyone in the grades nine through 12 special ed social studies program at Tempe High School in Tempe, Arizona. Third up today is Ms. Borma and everyone in the Trailblazers classroom at Ludington High School and WSESD in Ludington, Michigan. Fourth up today is Ms. Alicia Ms. Patty, Ms. Jackie, and Ms. Sue, and everyone in the post-secondary program at Hudsonville Young Adult Services in Hudsonville, Michigan. Our fifth shout out today goes out to Robin and H and everyone in the ETA Pi and Sigma Pi program in the Matthias Academy Adult Day program in Bristol, Wisconsin. And our sixth shout out today goes out to Ms. Dow and everyone in the TLC Life Skills class at Stonington High School in Pawkatuck, Connecticut. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. 
Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated, super spectacular shout out map.